go online and look at our Constitution of the United States of America, and you, you will not see banking mentioned at all. And that has been one of the reasons why you've had so many battles in the United States around banking. By the nature of the central bank, it was a very large branching nationwide. But the Bank of the United States was also allowed to engage in a commercial banking business, which it did. And that made it a competitor of the state banks. That's where it ran into trouble politically in the United States. Say by 1811, there are say, between 100 and 200 state banks. And they're all saying, let's tell our congressmen and senators to get rid of the Bank of the United States, because if we do that, we'll get rid of a regulator, we'll get rid of a competitor, and if it's not around, the government will have to use us for its banking business. And that's what happened in the United States. Politics can defeat economics sometimes.